If you turn the clock back about 60 years, you turn it back to a time when there weren't that many 22 caliber semi-automatic pistols out there. One of them that I am completely infatuated with is this little gem. This is the Beretta Model 948. And the 948 was simply a 22 long rifle version of the famous Beretta Model 1934 pistol in 380 caliber. There isn't a neater little 22 pistol than the uh, Beretta 948. It's aluminum framed, so it's light as a feather. You can drop it in your pocket and not even know it's there. And uh, like all Beretta guns, it's very reliable, simple. Uh, there, isn't, there aren't enough parts for anything to go wrong seriously with it. The 948 provided Beretta with a civilian style uh, pistol in 22 caliber that, uh, that, that saw it through some dark days. Uh, certainly it was the beginning of the post-military contract era and moved into the civilian era, which today they're almost masters of the universe uh, as far as civilian firearms manufacture and use throughout the world. But it was from those small, humble beginnings uh, for a company that can trace its uh, you know, origins back to the 1500s. Beretta has always managed to find a way to uh, keep its head above water uh, fiscally uh, by producing something that, uh, that, that they find a market for. And then the 948 was certainly the answer to that, that prayer at that time. In 1923, the Italian Navy uh, adopted a Beretta hammer gun. The 1915 was a hammerless pistol. And the 1923 set the standard for what would become the Beretta model of 1934 pistol. Uh, it was in 9mm Corto, uh, the 380 ACP cartridge. And the 934 really set the lines of what Beretta handguns would look like for some time to come. Beretta, all through World War II, produced 1934s for the Italian military. And after World War II, uh, well, Beretta needed something to do. They decided to enter the commercial marketplace uh, with a gun designed by Tullio Mangione, uh, the Model 948. You know, the 948 certainly uh, can trace its design roots, to, uh, obviously, to the 1934 Beretta. And this is... Uh, this is the first time you have that open top slide design uh, that uh, was translated into the uh, Beretta Brigadier, the, uh, the 1951 model. And of course the evolution of that continues on to our own M9. So that, that model 948 uh, certainly has a rich heritage and uh, spawned a number of other uh, you know, interesting uh, you know, Beretta style. It, it really helped. Uh, especially in the civilian market, uh, continue that style uh, in handguns. One of the coolest features that accompanied the Beretta 948 22 caliber pistol uh, was a quick barrel changing apparatus. When you purchased it, you could buy it with just this regular length barrel, but then you could remove this barrel so that when you bought your 948 at Sporting Goods store back in the day, in 1953, 54, or 55, you also got this nice extended barrel for target shooting. The biggest uh, uh, thing on the debit side is that there's no hold open. Uh, it will, uh, it holds, it stops on the uh, magazine follower when, when the last shot's been fired, the slide is hung up on that. You try and pull the magazine out the slide slams shut and it's difficult to pull the mag out because the weight of the slide is, is and recoil spring are impeding it. But apart from that, it, it, it's just a, a neat little gun. The Model 948 was an eight shot, 22 long rifle and it required some design changes from the Model 1934 service pistol. Uh, in particular, the firing pin had to be offset for the rimfire cartridge, uh, and of course it required an entirely new magazine barrel uh, to adapt it to 22 long rifle. 
it's not something that's caught on over here. They were discontinued in the uh, mid 1950s. Today, prices are still stuck at around $300 if you can find one or, or care uh, to find one. It's, it's uh, nothing that's got a uh, very big following for any, uh, any discernible reason or cause. I think the corporate attitude was this is an antiquated gun. This is a gun from the 1930s and we can produce much better. And in fact, during the 50s and 60s, they produced cosmetically updated single action, uh, internal mechanism, open top, the same thing, but streamlined. The little Model 948 is all business, no nonsense, and just what you would expect from a Beretta.